Sorry about this one being a two-parter, folks. I got a phone call, something that I had to deal with today. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to throw the brand under the bus right now. But uh, I bought a refrigerator 10 months ago. And as of right now, it is currently just sitting on my floor, not chilling my groceries. And I got to go to work today. More on that later. So, anyway, um, what I was saying is, suppose Donald Trump, just 100% of everything that came out of the White House was fantastic. Wasn't the Twitter troll that he was. Or pick any president. I don't care. It doesn't have to be Trump. Obama, Clinton, Bush, Reagan, uh, Bush the first, uh, Carter. Pick any president and suppose that everything that they did was 100% good. Not what they said, what they did. Okay, cool. Now, if all of a sudden they start running their mouth and trolling people and being a jerk... I think that's kind of a great way to describe Donald Trump sometimes. He's a jerk. Sometimes it's hilarious. Sometimes he's accurate on his points, but he's a jerk. But if I'm one of those people that's diehard this or that, that's diehard um, pro-Trump no matter what, guess what? All of a sudden, I feel like I'm and I've seen this happen, all of a sudden I feel like I'm obligated to defend him because of all the good he's done. Or, like I said, any other president you can pick. I don't care. Just for the, this is a thought exercise. So, you know, the president does a bad thing and all of a sudden I feel obligated to defend him because of all the the 99.9% good that he's done. Okay. Why? Why? I didn't make him do that. I didn't prompt him to do that. Why should I defend him? And on top of that, flip it the other way around, someone that doesn't like Trump but sees that everything coming out of the White House is just, you know, overall good or doesn't like the president. So they don't like the president, but all the 100% of the stuff coming out of the White House is good. Well, then they say something and they're obligated to just seize and pounce and, you know, blast the president for doing this, all, you're saying this or doing this all over Facebook and social media. See, here's the thing. I'm not the biggest Trump fan. He was not. I had researched another candidate that dropped out before my state did primaries. And due to my work schedule, which can suck, I didn't get off during primary election, and I don't get a lot of sleep anyway, so I actually didn't get to vote in the primaries in 2016. I was going to make a concerted effort to vote for my candidate that I'd picked out, but I was kind of uh, flipping a quarter on a couple other candidates that I'd heard in the debates that I wasn't as big a fan of. So everybody else in the primaries, everybody else chose President Trump and then everybody else chose President or chose Hillary Clinton. So I got to flip between those two and that was kind of an easy one for me. The day that uh, all the candidates announce their intention to run. And I'm not going to try to name them all off, but the day that everyone was in and Hillary Clinton dropped her name in the hat, I put a sticker on my car. I ordered a sticker that day and put it on my car when it came in that said, anyone but Hillary 2016. <clears throat> that was, you know, there was, uh, I forget the Republicans or the Democrats name. There was one Democrat that I kind of liked. He dropped out after the first debate. I really liked him. I liked four or five people 
in the Republican primary. So, anyway, but, you know, I don't feel obligated to Trump at all. Like, I can appreciate the things that he does that I agree with. There are certain things that he's done that I'm like, you moron. There are certain things that he's done that, that for Pete's sakes, quit being a Twitter troll. Use it. Use the Periscope version to give your speeches and to get out uncensored. Other than that, leave it alone. Periscope, Facebook Live, anything just to get your message out unedited. But for Pete's sakes, quit being a Twitter troll. That's my opinion. And I've called him out on stuff. Like, he's an idiot for signing this omnibus spending package. He's an idiot for for this or that. You know, I'll call him out. But I think, by and large, the stuff that comes out of the White House, I agree with it. Anyway, that's the gist of what I was wanting to say. Hope y'all are doing okay today. Stay safe out there. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, see y'all next time. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe.